plaintiff, Evita Graham, says she grew up thinking one man was her father. But after he went to prison for sexually assaulting her, her mother told her the defendant was her father. So she petitioned the court for a paternity test. Defendant Carl Graham says he was always told Evita was his daughter and he paid child support for her until she came to live with him at the age of 15. Carl claims Evita's mother recently stated that he may not be her father, so he's eager to find out the results today. And we're here today to determine paternity, whether Mr. Graham is Ms. Evita's uh, dad. That's why we're here? Yes, Your Honor. Start with you. Okay, well, I grew up in a household with my mother and my older sister and the man who I always thought that was my father. Um, Carl has always been a part of my life, though. How he, so? He's my older sister's biological father. So he's always been a part of my life. Um, when she used to go with him, I used to go sometimes. I've stayed with him off and on throughout the years a couple of times. And I call him dad. He's been there what for me. What you call the father that raised you or the one you had always known to be your father with? I call him, used to call him dad as well. Okay. But I always knew that Carl was not my father. How did you know? My mother told me. Oh. And I grew up in a household with my biological father. And she never told me that Carl was my father. Um, his name is on my birth certificate, though. Whose name? Carl Grams. Because at the time, they were married. And when I was born, they were separated. And she was with my father. Defendant Carl Graham always believed the plaintiff was his daughter. But her mother recently said he may not be her father. So they took a paternity test today to find out the truth. All right, so go ahead. OK, so um, it wasn't until 2008 um, when the paternity issue came up. Um, I was raped by my biological, the man who I assumed to be my biological father mm -hmm. um, when I was four, between the ages of 14 and 16. Yeah. At the time, my mother did not believe me. Um, so no, nothing happened at that time. I didn't go to the police or anything. But in 2008, I decided to go to the police and I had him prosecuted. He's currently in prison right now for Good. that. Um, what did your mother say then? Um, she told, at the time, in 2008, when the detectives interviewed her, she told them that she heard later on down the line that I had a, sec that I had a sexual relationship with the man who I thought was my father. And at that time, she told the detectives that he was not my father, that Carl Graham was my father. And it's in the evidence page one that you have. How's your mom doing now? We do not really have a good relationship. Um, we don't really talk. I allow her to have a relationship with my daughter. And then recently, about two months ago, she told my daughter that Cora Graham is not my father and it's some other man who is deceased. And I'm really just trying to get some answers to, you know, find out who my real Why father is. Why do you think is. your mother's done all this? Mm -hmm. At first, I thought it was to, she did it to protect herself. Um, like maybe she didn't want to see that she failed me somehow by not protecting me um, when I was a teenager from him. Your daughter and your mom close? My daughter loves me unconditionally. So she's having a hard time with her relationship with her grandmother because of the things that she has told my daughter. Yeah, it might be time for a little break because of that. She's hurting your daughter. Absolutely. Don't let and her she, hurt your daughter. No, sir. And she hasn't yeah. been over there since yeah, then. Yeah, don't let her hurt her. So just maybe, man, we got to step back a little. We got to get grandma a break here for a minute until she kind of uh, starts thinking. She's not thinking right. Whatever, however you put it to her, but just don't devastate her. You got me as traumatized, and I'm sure if you just say, you ain't going to never see grandma again. We ain't never going over that. Don't do <coughs> that, but just... Man, we're going to get Grandma a little space right now. Because Grandma Sorry. talking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And they say, you know, I want you to understand, baby. The older they get, the crazier they talk. <laughs> Judge Mathis, just look at him. He'd been on TV 23 years. He wasn't that crazy. He wasn't talking that crazy when he first got on there. 
But if you watch him now, he talk extra crazy. Because <laughs> he's getting older. It's been 23 years. <laughs> so use me as an example, too. Oh, uh, she loves you. She, we watch your show together all the time. Uh, sir, why don't you give me uh, a little background and how you see things? Well, Judge, I met Irina's mother, mother about a year after I come out of service. And I met her through a, a guy that we worked together. I did a part-time job together. He introduced me to his um, his lady friend, and she introduced me to Evita's mother. Okay, um, you know, on that time we dated for a few months and all. And at that time, I thought she was the woman that my mother was telling me about. But um, what do you mean your mother used to tell you? You know how your mama talked to you about? Uh, you want to? You, you try to get a uh, a woman like your mother. Oh, okay. You know, yeah, yeah, and um. So uh, I asked her to marry me. <laughs> after how long of a relationship? Um, a few, uh, a few months. I mean, okay. we dated for a few months after I come out. You know, I met her. Okay. And um, how did it go? So uh, it went very went, went pretty well then. But then uh, after we got married, then um, she uh, we had a we had a daughter. We had our first daughter, which is uh, Evita's sister. Mm -hmm. You know. Then that's when I thought then that. Uh, I must have missed something that my mother was trying to teach me, trying to tell me. Because you yeah. didn't find your mother in her. No. <laughs> nothing about no, nothing, her was reflected right, like right. in your mother. Exactly. And so um, we were separated. We separated in 79. Okay. Um, during the separation, I uh, supported my oldest daughter all the time while she was staying with her mother. And um, she would, uh, I would go by there. But in the meantime, um, I, she was staying with another guy who I assumed was Evita's father. During the four years that I supported my daughter there, then Evita was born in 81. You see? And we had, we had no dealings. I was always over there, always over there picking my daughter up and dropping her off. I actually had no dealings with her at all. And I thought that <laughs> you know, she was always telling me then that I was Evita's father. And she told me that all the way up until now. I'm just finding out. She's just oh. not telling me that I'm not Evita's father. And so you treated her as a daughter. So I treated her as just like my daughter. I paid child support for her for, from the time she was born to the time she was 15 years old. That's when her mother put her out. And that's when she came and stayed with me. Mm. And, and what about your other daughter? Oh, she's always been with me. I, I got cussed to her during a divorce. During a divorce, um, she would um the door the, the, the when we went into the priest to face the judge she, she automatically said that there would be no dna i was i was asking my attorney for a dna first and then we would go from take divorce from there but uh, the judge said there would be no dna defendant carl graham always believed the plaintiff was his daughter but her mother recently said he may not be her father so they took a paternity test today to find out the truth. Now you say your mom had been telling you he's not your dad. Yep, she's she has never told me that he was my father. She always told me that the man that she was living and with. She's always told always you. Always told me that I was the father. And yes. always told you he wasn't. My goodness. All right, so um that's what it's I'm now I have a better grip on things. So back then I told her, so that's when the, uh, I was awarded my daughter, custody of my daughter. And uh, I was, the, uh, the judge told me that I, on divorce, I was continuing to pay child support for Evita. Mm, and she had, she had Kavita and I had my own daughter, I had custody of my own daughter and I raised that daughter. You keep saying my own daughter. They were her and I had together. And her you don't think personally. you and her had Evita together? No. So why are you no. been paying child support for all? Because I I, 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 was, I had to. They wasn't. She was saying she, the mother was saying I was her father. Because your name was on her. Yes, birth, birth certificate. Yeah, there's yes. a presumption. And that's right. where, there you go. There yeah, you go. there right. it is. Okay, and the one I was, was, saying, I was, I was yeah. still married to her when she had when the baby was born. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all those things together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the woman, if she didn't, did she protest the paternity test? She she never said anything about it. Uh, I was the one complaining, saying that, you know, to get a, a DNA at, uh, at when he was a, a child. But anyway, I mean, it doesn't matter anyway, because um, Evita's 
whether whether the test come back negative or positive don't make me no different. She's still my daughter. You know, because I brought her up. I, I raised her from a baby. I've been known ever since she the day she was born. Well, let's put this issue to rest once and for all. Tune in tomorrow when Judge Mathis will reveal the results of today's paternity test.